So as you can see, we're working on a little engine here. This is a 110cc engine out of a little ATV, one of the little Chinese Tao Tao 110D ATVs. All right, so the way the socket works, it's got these four teeth. Grab on around the outer edges in there. You can see in there, you should be able to see in there, it uses a half inch drive socket in the center of it. And my little impact tore it right out of there, no problem. So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta pop this uh, snap ring here out. What I find is if you've got a snap ring, it doesn't wanna come up nice and neat for you. What you can do is open it up with your snap ring pliers and then just get a uh, I had screwdriver up underneath it. Slide you out. Slide you out. It's just freewheeling. All right. I'm going to take these guys out. Probably open it up to see what's in there anyway. Gasket out the way. All right. Let's see, do we have any anything else holding it together? Are we ready to come apart? All right. I've already taken all the bolts around the casing. Now what I should be able to do is just use a thin screwdriver to wedge the case halves apart. I'll start working my way around it. Using my screwdriver as a wedge. To slowly work these guys apart. Come on, girl. All right, there's one half of the engine case out. Bearing feels good. What in the world is their secret for getting this chain in there? You can see we've got the bearing gear remove these guys it's an automatic tensioner of some kind here it looks like so let's take this out ooh look at that we got a spring back there interesting I am not. Ah, uh, okay. That rides up against there to provide tension. Okay, so this is the can. I don't know if you can see inside of here. But this gets pushed on from down here, inside of, inside of this, from this. That's what drives it. it must be an oil pressure fed. Or maybe just spring fed, I'm not sure. But I still have the same issue. I still have to get this stupid thing out of here. <sighs> now this is half the fun of this. See, this guy was down in here. As I'm looking over trying to figure out how it comes out, it turns out this whole plate comes off here. So I just took the difficult way of getting everything else out. So now I can just unbolt this guy. I should be able to slide this out without any difficulty once I get this unbolted and out the way. Let's go do that. 17 mil there. Pull 
pull that out get this unbolted off to the side now this well, does not come out that side but there's like a there's a lip on it it's almost like this top will come off that's exactly what it is this top piece here comes out and now this put, push all the way down through here and the little holes facing up in all right now as for this guy now I should be able to unscrew this comes right out all right now with the exception of this one stuck head bolt which I'm gonna end up having to probably replace looks like I've got it apart now it's ready for cleaning still got the other bearings in here feels good uh, that bearing does not feel nor look good you see this Is this little bit of trash in there mm. I'm gonna see if I can track down these both of, I want to see if I can track down both those bearings the seal only in which I have to worry about one yeah and then we can start actually going through cleaning this all and rebuilding it all right, so there's a little 110 cc tau tau disassembled. I haven't seen any videos anywhere of this thing actually like going into it. As for the crank, it did actually. I'm sorry, I didn't even record that. The crank did just knock right through. You just have to take the, uh, you got to wiggle the timing chain out of the way. And this rod looks like it's one piece. That's a one piece rod means this has to be a two-piece crank main bearing here feels good feels good actually it looks like it's a pin to crank is what it is see right here see this Bet we drive that yep that's probably what this this back area here goes to you drive this off here you knock that through that lets you take this out two pieces come apart I'm not gonna go that far into it the bearings feel really good I'm gonna clean them very thoroughly yeah the bearings feel great so I'm not gonna quite go that far on it but I am gonna go ahead and clean everything down I'm gonna see if find this seal replace it this is just an o-ring around the edge I'll replace it yep next thing to do will be get the parts washer out unfortunately I don't have a parts washer I have to go to Harbor Freight and pick one up that'll be tomorrow's project and I think I'm making pretty good time We'll see what happens tomorrow after work.